Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Welcome if you're new. I have a little mini art haul. Um, the final few things from Christmas came in. Um, these were purchases for me, by me, to me. <laughs> Last minute sale items that I really, really wanted and no one bought for me, so here we go. I have, um, right off the bat, I bought these colored pencils. Now these are no ordinary colored pencils. Let's scoot, 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 those guys over there. These are, um, I'm gonna zoom in so you can really see what's happening, maybe turn on this light there we go these i forgot what brand they are you say made in china um i need a little knife here we go danger i don't want to destroy the box because i'm not sure if i want to keep it yet or not but i thought these would be fun to use on i have a pad of well two pads of black paper and I thought these would be super fun to use on the black paper. Ooh, they're heavy. Nice. They feel like um, those ebony pencils with the weight. Look at those. I really did the black. I really dig the black a lot. Isn't that nice? Let's screw you. You're, you're spoiling the show. <laughs> yeah, these feel weighty a little bit like, um, well, maybe not as, as much, just one. A whole handful. They felt weighty like ebony pencils do. They have a um, wood barrel and multicolored. Each one has multicolored um, lead inside. And each one is a different combination of color. Now they had sets that had um, the same combination of colors, but I wanted I wanted these because look, we've got pink and peach. This one's mostly yellows and blues and greens, red and a brighter yellow and a touch of dark blue, red and orange. Ooh, this one's got purple and blue and green. And this one is like a burgundy and yellow and green. Oh, I'm digging it. All right. And then this one is yellow and blue. Different shade of yellow, too, than all the other ones. Yellow and two different shades of blue. And then this one is like purple and magenta. Yeah, so let's see real quick. I actually have my black pad right here. So I'm going to just... I want to scribble. I want. I want to. I want to scribble. Let's pad something to focus on. There we go. Um, I thought these would be super fun to use on the black paper. You can turn them. Just keep going. Look at that. I mean, they might, they might be fun to use on um, white papers. Maybe they'll be better on white paper. Let me see. I know I have. There we go. I'll just grab a white. Ooh. All right. Maybe better on white paper. Look at that. Yeah, that's cool. All right. That's that guy. Ooh, these are fun. Now these are not um, archival or anything like that. They're th I got them strictly to just I'm spinning the pencil to get some more of those other colors. Um, thought they'd be fun to draw with in my sketchbooks. Just something, you know, different. Other than just a strict colored pencil, which are oh this one's nice. Ooh that color combo. Take that. Anybody else? Cool. Um, I just thought they'd be super fun to play with in my sketchbooks. Just for something a little bit different, you know, a little bit outside the box. 
Yeah, actually all these supplies are not anything I would normally buy. They're not archival, to the best of my knowledge. They're mostly just um, for fun. For fun art supplies. Inexpensive. This pack of pencils, I believe, was $7 on Amazon. Um, if anyone's interested, I can link them below. You can just let me know and I'll throw the links in for each one of these. Actually, maybe I'll do that when I do the video. Oh, that one. That one's cool. It's a little bit the same as this one but without that orangey-red mixture. Oh, that's cool. Probably get a decent green if we just keep going. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's cool. But I love colored pencils, too. I've... I've they're a new love as of, ooh, last year, because it's officially 2023. This one's more, just kind of more red-orange. It's got yellow, <laughs> yellow and kind of an orangey red in there. Vermilion with a little bit of yellow, just for variation. That's pretty. And then there's this one which is the purple and yellow and green. Ooh. Look at that. That's neat, right? Can make some interesting things of these. Layer it up in the other direction. All right, you know. And this last one, it's just wild. It's just wild. Give it a little turn as I go. This one's more of a straight purple once you get it down. Probably could get it to, ooh, there we go. To really blend, ooh, look at that, nice heavy layer. Yeah, I'm gonna have fun with these, you guys. These are cool. All right, so that's this set. And for right now, we'll just slide them back of the box. Fun little inexpensive um, gift to me. Because I deserve it. Um, I should note that I am not, I'm on a no spend year as well. It is use what you have year. So this is my last little bit of fun expense things for me. Except for my palette full packs box that I'm... Um, yeah, I'm just not going to be able to give up. Plus, it's paid for for the next three months, so, you know. The, I just took the plastic off of these. I didn't um, get in them at all. This is uh, the Artix. I have Artix markers. I have the gray set. Yes? Yes, grays and some one of their Christmas sets of colors. And they're very nice markers. I'm oh, sorry, I was talking the other direction. They're very nice markers, but I wanted the metallic paint pens. Um, because, I, A, I like metallics, and I love the box. I love these colors. The box is really nice. Ooh, they give us a little, oh, neat, a little swatch card. White on one side. Oh, that's cool. And black on the other. That's neato. Artix, they think of everything. Dig it. And then all of our colors. And then each, let's just pull one out and take a look-see at it. And then we'll go through and swatch real quick. Okay. Artix Metallic Paint Pens. This end's brush and this end is fine point or bullet, if you will. Fine point. Come to me. There we go. And then the brush, which is my favorite part. I, I like a brush pen. Um, I thought we would go through. Let's Let's, let's play with our little swatch card, shall we? And see how metallic they are. Maybe we'll do the black side on the camera. Let's do... Alright, and then there... Uh, let's see. Do we have the color? I don't have my glasses on, which is probably a bad, a bad thing. On the caps? Nope, just black. Where are the numbers? There's numbers on here. Did I miss it? Recap after use. There are four. That's an M16. If 
fine point. Huh. All right. We'll just play with them. It doesn't matter. Ooh, no priming needed. Nice. I dig the no priming needed. Okay. Black. Actually, we could do, so just do a dot. We'll do a substantial swatch in the lid in the order that they are in the box. Ooh, that's dark. See how it dries. Brown. Is it because I don't have my glasses on that I can't see the number? Or is it just that it's not on the pen? It's really throwing me off. Why put a number on the little swatch card if there's no number on the actual pen? Alright. A. Nope, there's no A. What's the M M? Nope. All right. Well, heck with it. Moving along. We'll just pretend that's not a reality, right? <laughs> Why not? All right. Here's the gray, which is more of a silver. Look at that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna dig that one. Silver. That's so pretty. Digging it. I'm kind of hoping they're all a little metallic. And not just, um, what do you call it? Pearlescent. Ooh, there we go. On that black paper. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. Dig it. That guy. And we'll do this green. And here. Yeah, that, that metallic -y color isn't going to show up much probably on the white, which is normal for metallics. I mean, they usually do show up better on with a darker um, background. I'm probably not going to keep them in this box either. Just for ease of grabbing. Ooh, I like that color. I like that color. That's nice, that blue. Kind of a peacock blue. Dig it. Let's see this darker one. Yeah, indigo. Feels like an indigo to me. Yeah, they're juicy too. Nice. We'll do our purples next. This dark purple. Royal, if you will. Purple. And then this purple. Yeah, I like that purple. This one's nice. It's more of a petal purple. More of a flowery purple for me. To my mind. Okay, I'm going to drop down and go across. I a mulberry color. I dig it. This looks, this looks bright. Oof. Oh, it's not. Oh, that's kind of nice. I like that muted tone. I dig that. That's pretty. Another favorite. Have I have I favorited all of them yet? <laughs> Ooh, that's cool. I'm digging the muted tones on this white paper, kind of a lot. It's nice. I did the pink already. Getting mixed up here. There. Try and be gentle. Woo! Kind of a burnt orange color. Ooh. Like a dark pumpkin color. Spice. Reminds me of all spice. See, and yeah, that I swatched because they don't match their. They match the tip of the pen more than the barrel, like the actual brush part is the color, not the barrel. I mean, it's really kind of far off the mark. 
which is fine. I don't care. I'm going to use them anyways. And I got these three left. We have this, this guy, which is super close, like they're almost the same. Did I grab the same one? Oops. Did I? No. Okay. Interesting. And then this guy. That one actually matches pretty well. Ooh, that's yeah, got a yellow undertone. And a dark mustard color. Baby poop. <laughs> it's baby poop. <laughs> Any moms and dads out there? You guys know. You guys know. It's supposed to be probably a gold, but yeah, it's too yellow. That yellow gold I never really cared for. It's personal preference. Um, these remind me of baby poop. <laughs> Which is just silly, I know, but there you have it. Alright, it's a nice set, right? Let's dry that off. There they are on focus. There we go. Ooh, on the black paper. Doesn't that look nice? They're not really shimmery though. Like they don't really have any shine to them, which is a little disappointing. But on the white paper, they have a bit of, it might be the paper too. I might have to use a, like a Bristol paper for that shine to come through. Fun, fun. So Artix 18, metallic color pencil or metallic paint pens so there's those guys and then I really I wanted some like something different not pastels not um those like lipstick things that I tend to fight using um ooh, these are king art Artist Mixed Media Gel Sticks, a set of 48, assorted vibrant colors. We have uh, 48 Comfort Grip Gel Sticks, soft and buttery texture, rich and vibrant colors, odorless and non-toxic, storage cases included. Oh yeah, that's why. The, the storage cases kind of got me. Thought that was a cool idea. On the back of the box, I'm going to probably cut this off. Maybe, we'll see. And stick it in one of these so that I know what I've got. I'll set that aside. But this comes with the storage cases. I wonder, I wonder if you, you could probably hang these if I wanted to. Let's see. Ooh, they, they pop together. I'm not sure what all the holes are about, but there you have it. And then each one has the comfort grip, the little Oh, I'm out of frame. Comfort Grip, King Art, um, lipsticks. <laughs> they remind me of lipsticks. Um, but I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you guys can, can see the collection. Let's scoot that over so we have a little more room. Hopefully that won't fall off. So we have these ones. And these little pop a little bit flimsy but I mean decent storage for carrying with if you want to take them with you aren't they pretty I mean if we're doing like mixed media work and um oh look at those yeah it's a nice color mix all the different color oh, I dig it I'm gonna make a mess with these <laughs> let's put this on top of this Knocking stuff over. There we go. And then uh, these guys. Look at all the colors. Look at those. Aren't they beautiful? That's a lot of colors. Of our yellows into reds and pinks and purples and blues. Um, this one. This guy needs to be. And we've got more purples and pinks and blues over here. What's happening? Oh, some of them are metallic. That's right. That's what I was... Is that what this was? Do, 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 do. 
Vibrant color gel sticks glide easily over canvas, paper, wood, glass, and more. Our mixed media gel sticks are made of water-soluble wax. Cool, with a soft buttery texture. The rich colors blend smoothly and easily are light, fast, and odorless, non-toxic, and transparent. Work wet or dry to produce stunning results. They are the perfect complement to any mixed media project. Hassle-free setup and mess-free cleanup. Oh, I'll make a mess. You wait. Storage cases are included to keep sticks organized. Uh, violet, olive. Are the colors right on the sticks? That'd be cool. Metallic purple. Oh, there are metallics. Okay. All right. I'm excited. Should we swatch? I feel like my video is getting too long. How far in are we? 21 minutes. That's not too terrible. We'll swatch a couple. We'll, we'll swatch a couple, you guys. All right. Let's let's grab this bright yellow. It's neon. And let's see. They twist like a lipstick. Um, oh, how much product is in each stick? I feel like Lindsay the Frugal Crafter already did this with these, or something similar. Yeah, there's a little plastic bit right there you can see that's holding it in. So, I mean, it's a substantial amount of product, right? I don't want to get too bold. I'm not going to be able to get it back in. So, a nice, a nice stick. I mean, it's bigger than any of my pastel sticks. And, ooh, buttery. Definitely buttery. Definitely. I could use these on textured paper. Oh, how exciting. You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to, I, I got to do it, you guys. I got to do it. I got this cool like, uh, if you watch my other um, wow look at the color difference oh ooh, and the textures I do love me some textures that's cool these are gonna be fun maybe maybe we'll put a bright red down on the black I really did want something to use, ooh, ooh, on the black paper. That's nice. Put a little over the... Ooh, look at that blend. Oh, that's nice. Easy, easy peasy blending. Let's put a little more yellow, that same yellow on top. Can we make a cool orange? Look at that. Nice. Let's put this over. Soft like butter. Like butter. Let's use the darker red this time. This deep, deep red, right? Cool. Put them next to each other. They push around nice, and they're water soluble. Let's find out what that does. Ooh, could do some neat textures with these. Oh, these are gonna be fun, 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 fun. Look at that. Even on this funky handmade paper. Ooh, that's cool. All right. Very neat. Look at those colors. Ooh, maybe not on the black. <laughs> or I used too much water. I used too much water. Maybe that's what it is. We'll tap that off before we... Yeah, got carried away. Got carried away. Too much water is going to make them like lift up off the smoother paper. But the textured paper is nice. Look at that. All right. 
These are going to be fun. All right, let's grab a metallic. Let's see. Metallic copper. Look at that. Yeah. Dig it. Dig it. And then I want to try that metallic purple real quick. And then we'll move on. Ooh, look at that. Kind of pearlescent rather than metallic, right? A little shimmery. Yeah, I dig these. These are going to be fun, 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 fun. <laughs> uh, all right, so 48 colors of fun, fun, fun. Um, when I play with these, I will, um, I'm going to create a swatch sheet because I want to know what they do, what they look like on watercolor paper and um, whatnot, wet and dry, because that's usually what I work on. I do have all kinds of other papers now, though, so these are going to be interesting toys to play with. And we can keep them boxed up like so. Easy stacks. They look nice. Oh, and they'll stack on my shelf nice next to everything. Very cool. Alright, last thing. Last thing. I wanted a pack of gel pens. I've been avoiding gel pens for quite some time, and then I got a bunch of them, once again, in an art snacks box, and I blew through those bad babies. I think I have a purple one left, which is amazing. Um, it's purple metallic. Uh, this one is Castle Arts 100 Gel Pens, uh, 28 Glitter, 14 Glitter and Neon, 6 Swirl, 15 Pastel, 16 Neon, um, so Glitter Neon, and then Neon, and then Glitter, Classic, alright, and 17 Metallics, alright, let's open the box and see what we're talking about here. Oh, these have little cases too. Oh, look at that. So I don't have to keep the box if I don't want to. <clears throat> oh yeah, because the logo's right on there. That's cool. Is this one big thing? It is. Velcro together. Not Velcro and me. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not a fan. Oh wow. Alright. I'm I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna be okay with this you guys. <laughs> I'm just not gonna be okay. Castle Arts though always does come with um yeah, I'm probably gonna take these out of here. This is gonna be problematic for me. The packaging is problematic for me because I don't work like this. These are going to get pulled all out of here and put in um uh containers because I want to be able to just grab them out and this is this is good if you travel or if you have kids that are going to use them and I guess you could cut maybe I'll do that right now because this is going to make me crazy let me where are my scissors scissors hello um maybe I won't are all my scissors out in the other room they are huh I mean, rude. I keep grabbing them and bringing them out there and I don't know why. All right, we'll do it the dangerous way. Um, but Castle Arts, maybe? Uh, no, I'll wait till I have scissors. That's a bad idea, I'm gonna hurt myself. All right, at any rate, we have our, right here. These are our glitter neons, it looks like. Yeah, glitter. Does it say on them? Does it matter? I mean, they're glittery. They've got like, they've got bits of, maybe I should grab one that's got actual color on it. Let's see. Do they have one? Yeah, they've got like bits of glitter on them. 28. All right, so Castle Arts is really good about giving you, um, swatch sheets. I mean you can make your own. I usually use the swatch sheet as a shape and then make my own on paper that I will actually use these on but these are once again for sketchbooks. So I'm probably not gonna, s 
I'll swatch them on here, but I'm not going to go... I'm not going to get crazy and switch papers. Um, I wonder... Alright, so 28 glitter. It's got to be packaged that way, right? Does it, it doesn't say glitter on them. And each one of these is what? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10... 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, right? 2, 4, 5, 25. Yep. Alright, let's unstamp this. So we have these three here are glitter. That's our 28 glitter. And then 16 neons. I want to say neons. Is there more glitters over here? No. They're not labeled very well. I don't like it. Uh, see, that's just the Castle Arts logo. 16 neon. And glitter neon. And then six swirl. I don't know what that means. I would imagine it would be 28 and then the 14, like how they have them this way. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. And then you would be sixteen. And then neons. And then you guys are the pastels into metallics? I don't know. I'm going to have to futz about with these because that's just silliness. The way they have them packaged. That's just silly. Alright, let's open this bad baby up. Anyway, Castle Arts is a fun, um, they're really uh, good. Ugh. Time for me to do other things. Um, I have many alarms set. My battery's gonna die. Colored pencils, pens, acrylic. All right, so this is their grid of all the different things that they have. All the all the color coded up here. Different colors and shapes tell you what the different things are that they offer. I have the pastel colored pencils, the metallic colored pencils, the watercolor pencils and the 78 set of just regular colored pencils. As I was saying before my camera so rudely turned off, um, this is the product guide. They offer a lot of different things. Um, set, drawing and sketching sets, they have three different things. Colored pencil sets, one, two, three, four six different sets, watercolor pencil sets. I got the 120 set, yeah, of watercolor pencils. And these are very um, economically priced products. They're, um, they're not over the top as far as pricing is concerned, and they're nice to use. So I mean, for what it's worth, if you're not worried about archival, artist grade, and all that, and you're just looking for something to use, to create with. Castle Arts has nice products. So far, I haven't tried their watercolors. They have, I think they have watercolors too, yeah. They have acrylic paints. Yeah, they have a watercolor paint range, which I haven't tried yet. I'm not a big um, acrylic person, so I won't get those. I might try their gouache at some point, but I have a ton of um, Arteza gouache that I need to get through and my jelly cups. So, at any rate, there's that. And then there's these suckers, which are... Uh, flip it over. Ooh. Vibrant, smooth. They're, they, they're smooth to use. I got them to sketch with, to sketch and draw and fill in and layer just for something fun and different to use. Um, why? Because I can, you guys, honestly. Urgh. 
then there's the glitter metallic. Where's that black piece of paper? <clears throat> Alright, I'm almost done futzing about. Oh, on the back of the box. Silly. I want to know what the swirls are darks. They've got to be over there somewhere. When I find them, I'll let you guys know. They're not labeled. Swirls? What does that even mean? If someone knows, let me know in the comments below. Then I have neons and metallic, 17 metallics, which are probably over here. These, yeah, these guys, which are probably more pearlescent than metallic. Maybe not on the box that doesn't want to take a hit for us. Silly box anyways. And these are just gel pens. They're nothing fancy. I wasn't looking for something that's going to, you know, blow my socks off or anything like that. I was just looking for something fun to sketch and draw with. Um, I do a lot of sketching and drawing when I'm out on my couch watching TV or shows at the end of my work day. Um, it doesn't read as metallic for me. That guy goes over there. This is that silver glitter one. Oh yeah, alright. This one's got a little bit of sparkle. There it is on that black paper, yeah. So these, these gel pens are generally better to use on the black paper. Which is probably what I'll use them on. But, yeah, so that's what I got, you guys. I got, where's this sucker going? Yeah, I'm going to have to take these out of here. This is going to drive me crazy. And then it won't matter. I'll put the glitter ones in one cup and the pastel ones in another and the metallic ones in another. And they'll probably get all messed up anyways as I play with them. I'm going to take these all out of these bendy, foldy, weird package things. I don't, <laughs> I don't like it. Um, it would have been better in um, the cases like these, like these um, little pop together trays. All right, gel pens tutorial uh, in five easy. Oh, all right. Huh. I mean, I could try. Why not? Prepare your drawing in black line on heavyweight white paper. Let's start with warm colors from neon and classic pen ranges. Yeah, all right. So there's an exercise to do, and look at all their packaging. Their packaging is really nice, you guys. And they have a lot of tools and helpful hints and tips and tricks for using each of their products. Very nice. Um, supplies to use. And then these are my King Art. Um, come to me. These are my King Art mixed media gel sticks that I got. Let's zoom out. And then our gel pens that I got. And then these fun colored pencils and my Artix metallic paint pens. And that's my little mini art haul. It's kind of long, I know. Sorry, I got carried away. <laughs> um, most of these you won't see me using in my uh, regular YouTube videos. Maybe these and these, but not these um, and maybe not these. These I mostly got for working in sketchbooks. My daily sketchbook routine, which is going to start tomorrow for the year, is going to be to use these kinds of supplies in a very relaxed setting and do a daily video for Patreon. A daily half an hour to an hour of just working in sketchbooks with all the supplies. I am setting up a station out in the living room for that purpose. Um, so yeah, because this is always set up for like watercoloring and doing big projects and I don't have a space to just there's always something drying or in the works on this table. So I need a station where I can have all this stuff out and have my sketchbooks, my mini sketchbooks, which we are going to flip through in um, the next couple of days. We're going to flip through all the little sketchbooks and where I started and where I am in them right now. For 2023? Sorry if my head got in there. So be on the lookout for that. Um, tomorrow's video is going to be 
um, a winter watercolor bird uh, so look out for that and yeah that's all I got for right now so if you like the video thumbs up please it helps the channel grow comment below if you see anything you like or you want me to add a link or you want to see a video of me doing artwork with any of these tools let me know I, I'll, I am accommodating you guys <laughs> all right I will see you in the next one bye